Hello everyone and welcome to Medi Simplified. So today in this video we are going to discuss uh, common surgical positions, right? So uh, why this? Why it is important to know the surgical position? Because for different surgery we use different surgeons use different positions so that they can get a better access, right, to the surgical field where they need to operate. So we'll start from the different. Uh, we'll discuss few of them right now. So the first is uh, the supine position, right? So first we are going to talk about supine position. So you can see totally the patient is on its back, right? So his chest, his or her chest is facing upwards, right? So most common, it is the most common posi uh, position used for surgeries. Chest and abdomens are facing upwards and it is usually used for uh, abdominal surgeries and breast surgeries. So this was first, that is supine position. Next we'll talk about prone position. It is totally opposite, right? The patient does lying on its chest and abdomen, which is facing towards the bed and the spine is towards the surgeon. And it is usually prone position is used for spinal surgeries because the surgeon gets a better access to the spinal cord. And uh, if he gets the incision from back and the patient is in this position. Next, we'll talk about Prendelenburg test. Prendelenburg test is not uh, different from supine position. It is same as supine position, just the leg end of the bed of the patient's uh, leg is raised upward, right? So Trendelin position, same as the supine position, but the foot end is raised. It is used for pelvic surgeries and varicose, veins, varicose vein surgery. Next, we'll talk about the opposite of uh, Trendelin that is reverse Trendelin test, uh, sorry, reverse Trendelin position. Uh, it is used, uh, it is done same, similar as supine position in Trendelin the foot end is raised in reverse Trendelenburg, head end is raised, right? So till now we discussed four position. First is supine, uh, lying on, on the spine. Second is prone, then Trendelenburg, which is same as supine, but the foot end is raised. And then we talked about reverse Trendelenburg in which the head end is raised and the patient is in supine position. Next we'll talk about dichotomy position. The dichotomy position is a common position, uh, surgical position seen in the OBS and gynecological uh, surgical OTs, right? OBS and gynecological OTs. So, uh, in this, what happens? The patient is lying in a supine position, but the legs are raised, right? Legs are raised and secured, and the arms are extended. So, so this is lithotomy position. It is usually used for OBS and gynecological procedure and urological procedure. Now, hemorrhoids, fissure, right, and also term that is transurethral resection of prostate. These surgeries are also performed now in lithotomy position. Earlier it was performed in jackknife, but now it is not performed in jackknife, it is performed in lithotomy position. So there are a few disadvantages of this lithotomy position. What happens if the patient, uh, if the patient is lying and the foot end uh, is not properly supported, right? Or it is very prolonged surgery. So if, the pro if there is a prolonged lithotomy surgery, right? Or the leg is not supported properly, it might injure the common peroneal nerve, right? What happens uh, if it is not properly placed, the fibula, right? The head of fibula puts pressure on this nerve and due to which there is a chance of getting a uh, peroneal nerve, common peroneal nerve injury, which is going to through the head of fibula. Now, next is Lloyd Davis position, right? So, Lloyd Davis position, according to me, is a combination of Trendelenburg and lithotomy. You can see this: the patient is lying right in supine, then the foot end is raised, and then the legs are raised even above and supported, right? So, it is derived from Trendelenburg uh, position, but the legs are abducted. Uh, in order to access the perineum of the patient. So I call it as a Trendelenburg plus lithotomy position, that is Lloyd Davis position. Next is jackknife. I've already told you about jackknife. It, is, it was earlier used for hemorrhoid and fissure surgeries. Nowadays it is not, not used because the patient suffers to a positional uh, asphyxia in this condition. So nowadays we don't use a uh, jackknife position in, in, instead of jackknife, we have started using lithotomy position for hemorrhoid and uh, fissure surgeries. The next is kidney position. It is usually used for kidney related surgeries, right? Also for thoracotomy. So pyelolithotomy and nephrectomy is done in this position that is kidney position. 
the disadvantage of kidney position is again uh, there is a uh, nerve injury that is brachial nerve injury sorry brachial excess injury and there is a fowler position in fowler position patient is lying supine initially then slowly it is uh, he, he, he or she is uh, shifted in a sitting position right so begins with a patient in supine position upper body is slowly raised in the to a 90 degree position that is sitting position which you can see here right so uh, it is usually used for uh, cranial surgeries also most importantly posterior cranial fossa procedures are done in fowler's position the disadvantage uh, in fowler's position is that uh, the patient is having a risk of air embolism so how we prevent air embolism we uh, ligate the vein before cutting it right so it is risk of, which of air embolism which is there in fowler's position we prevent it by ligating the vein before cutting it and the last in our discussion today is rose or barking dog position which is usually used for your uh, procedures uh, related to your neck right so so for thyroidectomy tonsillectomy etc so uh, in this what happens the patient is lying in supine position but both the head and neck are extended right and it is done by keeping a sandbag or a towel roll under the shoulder blade of the patient and this is used for thyroidectomy and tonsillectomy so it is contraindicated in the patient of down syndrome because of atlanto axial instability in the patient or the child of down syndrome so that was all i have to discuss about the common surgical positions i uh, hope you find it useful so thanks for watching the video keep like share and subscribe my channel medi simplified and do follow us on instagram and facebook so thank you